Hello and welcome to Microsoft Dynamics CRM introduction training. This is a course overview and in this tutorial I will explain you how this training is structured. During this course I will practically take you through CRM application. The latest version of CRM is 2015 and the version 2016 is about to get released. This training will be on version 2015. So let's start. The first module is about deployment type. In this module, you will learn about various deployment types that are supported by Dynamics CRM. It means how CRM application can be installed or deployed. Also, I will tell you how you can access CRM application. The second module is application navigation. In this module, I will walk you through CRM where you will learn how to navigate through the application. As compared to the previous version of CRM, like version 4.0 or 2011, the navigation and user interface has completely ramped up and application has become more user-friendly. For a consultant, it's very critical to understand business language and the product terminologies. This helps you build confidence and people recognize you as an expert. So in this module number three, I will tell you some important terminologies that you should be aware of. Now, there are three functional modules of Dynamics CRM. These modules include various processes and functions that are very useful for business productivity. So in the module number four, sales module, I will explain you the sales process, the process flow, and we'll also walk you through some important features of the sales module. The next functional module is marketing. So in this module number five, I will explain you the marketing process flow and we'll also walk you through some important terminologies and features of marketing module. The final module is service. This is one of the most important module if you want to implement CRM for case and contract management. So in this module number six, I will explain you the customer service process flow and the features of this service module. So these are the three uh, modules you can work with. However, Dynamics CRM allows you to extend its functionality through the customization feature. The next part is exciting and very critical. In this module number seven, I will give you an overview of security model of Dynamics CRM. It means how Dynamics CRM controls the application access for users. For example, user Tom can only read contacts, whereas Mike can only modify existing contact details but cannot create new contacts. The security model of Dynamics CRM is robust and it's very reliable. Then in module number eight, I will teach you how to create records in CRM. For example, creating a contact, a case, an opportunity, a service activity, and so on. Don't worry if you are not familiar with these terms, I will explain you in detail. The next module is module number nine, and you will learn different reporting types that are supported by Dynamics CRM. And also I will give you an overview of tools you need to create custom reports. As you know, the primary objective behind any software or business solution implementation is to generate reports and get information from the software to make business critical decisions. So in Dynamics CRM, there are many out of the box reports for each module. Also, it's possible to create new custom reports as per requirements. Then comes the big one, module number 10, which talks about CRM settings and administration overview. It's a huge section and one of the most critical for any CRM implementation. In this module, you will learn business related configurations, customization capabilities, system settings, and various other features that make CRM a wonderful business solution. And finally, I will conclude this course by learning and the next step you should take to accelerate your career with Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Now, just below this video, I have given a link which says click here to register for Dynamics CRM 30 days free trial. Now, I want you to click that link and register for CRM online. This will help you to start practicing with the course and the things that I'm going to explain you in future videos. So that's it for this module and I will see you in the next video tutorial.